My name is Carol Lauren and I'm a stroke survivor. Well, I was hemiplegic, which meant half paralyzed. And so uh, I was confined to a wheelchair because I didn't know what to expect. No one could tell me what the prognosis would be and uh, that I would have any recovery. So I was very scared. One of the number one concerns that patients have is how much they're going to recover and to predict where they'll end up. My name is Dr. Mark Bailey. I'm the medical director of the Brain and Spinal Cord Rehabilitation Program at UHM Toronto Rehab Institute. The path of recovery depends on the location and the size of the stroke. So, for the most part, people recover physically over a period of a few months. Uh, we do know that in the instance of speech that recovery can go on for many years. And the same thing with cognition or thinking skills. We know that that process can go on for longer. But for some processes, it's a little slower and some processes it's a little faster. So we need to better understand that. That is a key question in our research. After the first couple months, things may slow down a bit. And that is in part because the brain has the most ability to change early after a stroke. Now that doesn't mean that people can't achieve meaningful changes far after a stroke and, and certainly throughout the first year and even afterwards. Uh, but those changes will happen slower. My name is uh, Dr. Janice Ng. I'm a professor with the University of British Columbia in the Department of Physical Therapy. I also direct the Rehabilitation Research Program at the Vancouver Coastal Health Research Institute. We actually know that after a stroke, people do pretty well after the uh, first few months in rehabilitation, but they not only tend to stall, but many of them actually go backwards. So they stop walking as much, they stop engaging in as many social activities, and that in itself can impair the brain. Uh, my name is Dr. Dale Corbett. I'm a professor of neurosciences at the University of Ottawa, and I'm also the scientific director and CEO of the Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery. At six months is really what we would consider to be kind of the chronic phase of stroke recovery. At that point, recovery has really slowed. Um, it's kind of stalled, if you like. You know, they can still make functional gains after that, but the actual speed of recovery, the rate of recovery, has dramatically decreased by six months. It's important that they do a lot of uh, repetition and practice of things. So, for example, if they have a problem with their upper limb or their hands, then they have to be really encouraged to use that upper limb and reaching for objects and doing daily chores around the house and not using the good unimpaired limb too much. Getting out uh, and reducing stress, ensuring that you take your medication are all parts of a healthy lifestyle that include physical activity and are really, really important uh, to keep healthy to prevent having another stroke or another cardiovascular event. At the Canadian Partnership for Stroke Recovery, we are planning a clinical trial which will examine the role of fluoxetine, a serotonin-specific reuptake inhibitor, in recovery after stroke. So in this trial, we would have some people uh, just do intensive exercise, which we know will actually help these individuals and another group that will do exercise coupled with antidepressants to see if we can get added benefits from the antidepressants working and interacting with the exercise. Uh, what I would say to people um, after they have had a stroke and they have hit what they perceive as a slower time is that it is really important to keep going and particularly with activities that involve physical activities, activities that involve social activities on a lifelong basis. So plateau for me became a positive word. It meant that it was a time to look at things and change it over. And usually when I did that, progress started up again. It's a long journey of ups and downs. But along the way, there's a lot of successes, and those successes are measured in small increments.